Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today I'm extremely, extremely excited to show you the world's first cargo scooters that you can actually buy. So let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. So these are cargo scooters made by EV4. And before I tell you, you know, the specs, what is their use case and so on, um, I'll tell you where the idea actually came from. I was a little bit involved in this project and back in the day, I believe a year ago or even more, I already knew Jacek here who is the owner of EV4 and I knew that they make some extremely ex impressive devices. So we started talking with EV4 about uh, making a prototype and this is essentially it. This is the presentation of those prototypes and EV4 delivered and delivered in a way that is more impressive than anything I could have expected. So now we have two versions of those cargo scooters, one a bit more powerful, a bit more features, seats, etc., and then a lighter bare bones version, which is uh, cheaper, but also less powerful and rest range. We will go into the specs in a second, but I am so impressed by the build quality of this thing. EV4 actually has a background in plane servicing and maybe even building, I have to ask them. But you can see that so much in those scooters with the build quality, with the robustness of those scooters that everything works. This is not another product from China that you can order and that someone is rebranding and putting their name on it. This is legit. This is something that they designed in-house and it's uh, made on components which actually makes sense like Shimano brakes front and back hydraulic ones obviously the construction which is legit and tested uh, by them in-house and there will be some minor changes that will be made in the future and the final version is what I'll test sometime soon in the new year so with all of that said probably you're wondering about the price and how extra orbitant it will be but surprisingly enough this one costs 10,000 złoty and the other one costs 12,000 złoty which is a Polish currency that's where those machines are made you can also get a discount 5% if you uh, use my code which is wrong way let's say wrong way cargo scooter so if you want to get something like this uh, just type them in the email it's a link below mention wrong way uh, cargo scooter and you'll get a 5% discount on this. I will also receive a kickback from those orders so you also support the channel by using those links. So with all of that said, like this is something that I personally was looking for four years actually. All right so let's get into this one first. By the way kickstand very nice just like uh, cargo bikes. The total length of it is just 180 centimeters so I believe in most bigger elevators it should fit and if it doesn't this thing weighs, uh, what, 25 kilos, something like that. Le well, with an empty load, you can for sure put it into an elevator. It's not such a big hassle to, you know, just go with it like this and put it in, into an elevator. So it is also pretty light. As I said, you can just like lift it up. Uh, front tire is a 10 inch tire and everything here looks fine. I don't know how durable it will be, but you know, that's something for the main review. And here we have the linkages which are making sure that you can steer. And the turning radius is pretty amazing when it comes to a cargo device that can actually take some stuff with you. All right, moving on. The capacity of this, um, I don't know, box is uh, 50 liters, but I believe you could have something else in here as well. I don't like it that it's, it makes a bit of a sound when it's riding, but I believe if you wanted to put something else in there, you could order the scooter without the box and put whatever you need there. Like you need something taller, something wider. This is something that EV4, I believe, could do. So then here we have some two amazing, nice quality with grip tape stands, and they're just awesome. Like. They look great, they feel great, and the scooter feels very, very planted on the road. Like, if you ever rode a Xiaomi scooter, this is not like a Xiaomi scooter, even not like a Zero 10X or one of those bigger scooters, because the length of the wheelbase provides you a lot more stability than a shorter wheelbase like you usually have in scooters. But then we have a pretty tall stem, 
It doesn't fold, which I think is good because it stays rigid and stable. And here on the handlebars, we can find a nice display, which shows you the mode, five modes, speed. Uh, there's a time as well, uh, range, battery level, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Very, very simple display, but also very nice. You can see it in all conditions. Brakes are hydraulic Shimano brakes, 120 millimeters in the front, 160 millimeters in the back. And we have a throttle, which is a thumb throttle works great. There is the kickstand, which is very stable. This thing is not moving anywhere. And we also have a rear sort of trunk. So you could actually have even more stuff on your scooter. The battery is removable. So if you want to remove it, there is a key, which I actually don't have. So, but the battery is removable and it's locked in place. So no one can take it now. But if you want to store it in your bicycle garage, and just take your battery for charging, you can do it. Here, the battery is, battery is a 36 volt, I think 12 amp hour unit. So I think the range won't be big here. I think around maybe 15, 20 kilometers. I would have to test that in the future. So not a big battery, uh, but I think enough to go on a run to the grocery store and back. Back tire is a 16 inch one, very thin, but also lightweight thanks to that. It's not like a super powerful machine. Maybe they'll add some changes to it. We'll see, but uh, that's what it is now. Super planted, super functional, really great device as, as my first impression of it are. All right, so we're doing a small test drive on the stand-up version. Uh, I have this helmet because I came with a pretty fast unicycle. So pretty sure you don't need a helmet like this on, on the scooter, especially with those speeds. But yeah, uh, let's go. And I guess the first thing you notice when riding this is it's very different than usual scooters and it's so stable. I've tried a cargo scooter before, a pretty big one, the Riese and Müller. And it's a huge hassle to ride those things. They're so heavy, they're like so top heavy compared to this. And with uh, this scooter, it's just so, so stable. All of the weight is on the bottom. And even with the small tire, I can carve on it. I can feel it very nicely. Uh, the front brake isn't that strong, but it can lock. <laughs> the tire is just like not the best quality. <laughs> but uh, the, the rear tire, I'll brake with it now. Oh, it's pretty good, pretty good. Apart from that, I'm not the biggest fan of the controller here. It's very, very slow. So if you press on the accelerator, now it accelerates. So it takes a long time to like, it's not as zippy. And the top speed of 20 kilometers an hour, not the fastest one for sure. I would probably like it to be a bit faster than that. One more thing, not the biggest fan of right now is that it's a bit, you know, it makes a bit of a noise, the box. And uh, this is moving a bit. I think it's just because the, the box doesn't give it any more structural rigidity. Now this isn't like anything super bad. You just hold it with two hands and it's fine. That's also something I had on other e-bikes. But of course, uh, you would like it to be perfect. So if I have to nitpick about something, I will. Other than that, for me, even now, the position is fine, but they will make the steering column a bit more in the front. So it will be a bit more comfortable. And most of the weight is in the back. So even if you have a big load, that's what she said, you will have the weight distribution. <laughs> You're left. <laughs> the weight distribution will be very nice. Right, I, I guess that's my first impressions. Let's uh, grab the other one. So the seated version is a bit more pro, I would say. There will be also a optional solar panel top here, which will cover the cargo box and then it will slide out here. That's also something I'll show in the future. We have a seat, which is very comfy actually, with springs underneath. So yeah, very plush, very nice. We have a box which is also manufactured by them with plexi on the side and this box also gives the structure a lot more rigidity this feels a lot more sturdy in general than this one as my first impressions are uh, we have a slightly different tire 10 inches 4 inch rim still plenty of grip and comfort oh yeah there is no suspension in those things but as we were riding them with uh, Mikoai here by the way huge thanks Mikoai for helping me record this thing it was fine like I don't think you really need suspension for 
just transporting stuff all over the place especially not for big distances anyways we have a much bigger box here this is uh, 70 liters so a lot more fu functionality and they will move this box actually further into the front in the final version so you have more room here for your legs so this is now 180 centimeters will be 190 in the future then we have a bit of a lower handlebar all of the things here are the same except for the lights so there's lights on the scooter which i like sadly no tail lights this is also throttle controlled and this is a lot more powerful than this one we have a 500 watt nominal power motor which is well it can actually do wheelies <laughs> and 1500 watts peak power so this should get you more over hills should get you more power and a lot bigger battery as well this is around 1000 watt hours 48 volts and um, 20 amp hours so the range of this thing should be a lot bigger i think at least 30 35 kilometers we'll see when i'll test it out how the range will behave so therefore this is also heavier this weighs i think 35 kilograms but this is still so much lighter especially considering the poor performance you have here than those big hefty cargo bikes and you can do the same thing if you want to just put it in to your elevator you put it up and then you can just uh yeah store it at home store it in your bike locker this is pretty amazing and i particularly like how they dealt with the kickstand here so the kickstands just like in other cargo bikes move it out and then you flip it out of the way and then you have some protectors here <laughs> now for now they're just tape and jank but I, they will make something solid for sure in the final thing it's just like so satisfying if things just work smoothly right all right so now we have the pro we have the veteran sherman here inside which is a 35 kilogram wheel even 40 with all of the add-ons so this is a lot of weight we're really stress testing this uh machine right now in its first iteration so we will be gentle love it and we can see that there is a bit of flex to the construction but on the other side if they have experience in plane building planes are flexing as well and flexing is better than braking but anyways let's start this thing has torque <laughs> all right guys so this machine is uh, a lot more powerful than the other one and you can tell that with any sort of load you'll be happier riding this than the other one we'll go left here we still have plenty of uh, stability very similar to the other one very very stable but you know if the if the load moves around then in any device it will be not as uh, not as stable anymore i like the seat it's comfortable the box is a bit too close but that's something they that will change the, the controller also sadly very very slow to react it's like i'll say when i press it and then you're here when it engages now yeah so probably a different controller will be something i like not something like a deal breaker but uh just something that i keep my eyes on as a as a reviewer in general brakes work the same if i brake now oh it's good <laughs> and yeah for sure with the range that we have here a bigger range and a more powerful motor this makes more sense definitely for bigger distances and a more hilly area these are the scar cargo scooters i'm super excited about those things particularly that i was in some way involved in the creation of this device i think it's super practical it's small it's lightweight if you want to go grocery shopping if you want to transport your broken euc <laughs> then this is what i will want to use I'm very excited about the final version when I can review it and let me know in the comments which one I should test first the stand-up version or if I should test the seated version first let me know guys and I'm very excited about those things the dog is excited as well and if you're still here leave a like on the video subscribe to see more content like this I'll see you in the next video